This is what you're looking at production. Make sure to check out all my airsoft views, shooting tests, airsoft tips, and loadout videos. And while you're here on YouTube, make sure to subscribe. Hope you enjoy the video. Hi, this is what you're looking at with another video today. Um, I said my next video was going to be the shotgun review, but I just gave it to my dad for his birthday, so I'm going to uh, let him have it for a couple days and then ask him to let him see it to do the review on it. So today I'm doing the video on my vest. Just the changes I've done to it. It's nothing really special. I'm going to make this about two minutes long at the most. Um, just a nice little video for y'all to watch. Um, also, tomorrow, Friday, um, I'm like 90% sure I'm going out to my friend's house. They're going to make a whole bunch of very soft videos. Uh, he has a class army. I'm going to make a review on his gun probably, among other things. Uh, but I think we're going to try and make uh, Echo One and Evite.com video contest entries. Um, so, uh, be sure to look out for that. Echo One's going to be pretty hard, but you know we're going to do our best. We're going to make it look pretty cool. And I think we're going to have four or five people to make that video with, so we should have a fair shot at it. Okay, uh, moving on now. Here's the vest. Um, things that I've kept was my admin pouch, same pouches, and this right here, my uh, triple mag pouch. And um, I kept this on the Infidel Strong because we're, uh, we really don't have a decided team name yet. It's going to be Infidel something, so I already have a patch that matches it. Okay, moving on to new parts of the vest. I got an OD utility pouch that replaced my digital ACU. And then I got three OETEC mag pouches. Um, these are made to hold one each, and they so tightly hold two that I just decided to hold one each in them. And on top of that, they got these little secure straps, so when I have MP5 mags, they don't fall out at all but they're still really easy to pull out and um so I'm gonna pause the video here and show you what it looks like with all my M4 mags in it okay here we go uh, I have six mid caps in the mags uh, in my uh, vest I usually only use 400 to 500 BBs at the most maybe even only 200 each match because you know I do mostly semi and do uh, three round bursts so I don't have to worry about losing all my BBs in five seconds of fully auto Okay, those are three mags there, all mag brand. Coming back here, I always keep my magazines on the half left, or the left half of my vest, because, you know, since I'm right-handed, I grab everything with my left hand, it sends my gun sting in my right hand, so I keep all my mags on the left side. And usually what I do when I have a magazine with a gun, I grab it with my pinky, release it out, and then with my middle finger, I grab another mag, put it in the gun, that way, since I don't have a dump pouch, I still have decently quick reloading. Okay, that's pretty much it. Uh, thought I'd show you that. You will see pictures of it on me after I go and um tomorrow, because I'm gonna have my full loadout gear on. So look out for that. This has been a what you're looking at production. Um, of course, it's been over two minutes. I always go over what I say I'm gonna do. But um, if you have any questions on any of the pouches here. Admin pouch, utility, triple mag pouch, and three OE Tech slash Condor M4 mag pouches. Just uh, let me know if you want to know where I got this vest at. Airsoft GI for 60 bucks, and that is with no pouches. The double M4 pouch right here costed me 11. The single costed me 8. This costed me 20 bucks at a local store. Never buying from a local store again, but it, you know it holds up, so I guess it's worth the money. Admin pouch, 10 bucks. Each patch is 3 bucks. And the uh, utility pouch is 20 bucks. Okay, this has been a What You're Looking At production. Uh, make sure you subscribe, comment, rate, and request. This has been a What You're Looking At production. I'm out.